Welcome back to Unspecified Podcast. Let's talk about high precision payloads and hyperspectral synthetic aperture radar and electro optical infrared, shall we? Titra, developing Turkey's first uncrewed helicopter. Turkish engineering company Titra said it won government subsidies for its ambition to produce the country's first uncrewed helicopter, the Alpin. Ankara put the program on its regional priority investment list, meaning the program will be supported by government incentives. Titra Titra or Titra said it will produce 10 Alpins a year in addition to 250 kamikaze drones okay the government will be the buyer upon successful field tests hoping that once combat proven the system will be exported to friendly countries one procurement official said the long-range alpin helicopter can be used for both military and civilian purposes as well as for rescue missions the alpin's design is based on the manned italian heli support Sport CH-7 Ultra Chopper. The development of the aircraft dates back to 2019 when Titra signed a deal with UAVOS, UAVOS, a U.S.-based drone specialist. Under the deal, Titra and UAVOS would convert CH-7s into dual-purpose rotary wing unmanned aircraft. The Alpin made its first flight in 2020. The helicopter has a length of 7 meters, a width of 1.5 meters, a height of 2.35 meters, and a rotor diameter of 6.28 meters. It has an an empty weight of 340 kilograms and can be easily transported in a vehicle. The unmanned helicopter can carry a maximum payload of 200 kilograms, including fuel. The the Alpin unmanned helicopter can carry multiple payloads and transmit real-time information to the operators. It features a wide-band satellite communication channel that supports operations in remote areas. Alpin's other features include a fully redundant autopilot system aboard the aircraft. Hmm. Um, Sounds, uh, notice it's not electric. (laughs) It's going to be a war of the drones. You know what I mean? They're going to clean war up so that, you know, or at least that's what I thought a while back with all the uh, robots. But it seems like we, we're not going to quite have the robots ready for World War III. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fully autonomous takeoff and landing system, remote ground control network capability, auto rotation landing capability, and high efficiency flight control. Its high precision payloads include hyperspectral synthetic aperture radar and electro optical infrared cameras. The Alpin is powered by Rotax 914 UL engine with a power output of 115 miles uh, horsepower, 115 horsepower. Its maximum cruise speed is 160 kilometers an hour. The Alpin has a maximum range of 840 kilometers and can fly at altitudes of up to 5,000 meters, which is up there. Okay. Uh, Its maximum endurance is seven hours or two hours when fully loaded. But don't forget that it also has a kamikaze function, okay? Or they are making a set. It says, Titra said it will produce 10 Alpins a year in addition to 250 kamikaze drones. Okay, so that's a video for another time. Definitely doesn't sound like your recreational RC, But, uh, you know, like I said, sounds like it's going to be a war of the drones, hopefully. Um, What do you guys think about this? Let me know in your comments down below. Please smash like uh, if you haven't already and subscribe. And uh, guys, we keep you in our prayers. Go do and don't worry. Until next time, guys, we love you. We thank you so much for being here with us. We'll see you on the next one. Much love.